Rob Clapper here with Bradley Corporation. I'm going to show how our new DCL electronic lock works on our solid plastic lockers. This is what it would look like if you were a casual user and you come up to a locker. It's basically going to look like that if it's empty. So what happens here, the inside of the locker, you've got this lever that is operated by the uh, DCL lock. And this is how the latch bar works. The latch bar will move when the lever is like this. When the locker is locked, it restricts the travel of the lock bar, of the latch bar, and that's how that operates. So let me show you how that how it is used by the user. So as I mentioned, the casual user will come up and, and it should be like this if it's an empty locker. He puts his stuff in, all he has to do is rotate this over, it locks it, but he has to lock that in place. So how he does that, is all he has to do is put in any four digit code that will lock the locker. So let's say we're gonna say the, the user uses um, 3355. It tells him that he's halfway there and he just puts the same four numbers in, 3355, and now that actually locks the lock. He goes off, uses the gym, comes back. All he has to do is remember what his four digit code was and he redoes it and then it opens up and then he's, he gains access. So what happens if the guy locks the locker? We'll use the same code, 3355. Again, 3355. The locker's locked now. He goes off and he never returns. And the maintenance people or the facility owners have to know or have to have some way of being able to get into the locker. Well, in this case, we've programmed the override code. It has to be eight digits long. And it happens to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that overrides whatever code has been programmed in there. Now there's another way to do that. If it's, I'm gonna relock it here. Let's say five, 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 again, five, 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 five. So now it's locked. Let's say he still wants to get in there. Uh, the batteries might be dead, whatever. He can get into it by using this small Allen wrench remove the cover and there's an override key that allows you to go in and actually manually rotate this out of the way. So you're able to unlock the locker. Okay, so that is available as well. We're gonna reassemble this. Put this all back together, very simple. We still have to unlock it. And our code was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that frees it up. Uh, I forgot to mention too, one other function for this button. What if we want to check and see what the battery level is? Because these are operated by one AA battery. All you have to do is hit this twice and it gives you the battery level. As you can see, the battery is, is fully charged. It went all the way up to the top. So let's say you want to reprogram the master access. Very simply, all you have to do is hit this first button, put in your old code, say 01, and then put in the new code twice. Again, hit this, put in the old code, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then 01, and then put in whatever new code, eight digits. Let's say we're going to just say 88664422, and you do it twice to confirm. 88664422. Now that's the new override code that is set for this particular locker.